Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Bruno. And I'm Hoi. And welcome to our parallel universe. So in today's video, we'll be talking about our three favorite hidden stories about Riga. The pavement, the Swedish gate, and the monument of freedom. Let's go. So starting <laughs> uh, with the pavement, throughout the city, we'll be able to see this kind of old but charismatic pavement. But even more charismatic is how this pavement was put together. So every merchant who wanted to sell goods in the city market needed to donate two stones or they would have to pay a fee. Yeah, and then the stones were collected during the day and then later on they were used to build these paved streets. Um, I think it was quite empowering actually to Amazing. discover these streets and to understand that it was actually everyone's contribution to the city. True. Next one, the Swedish Gate. The city of Riga was surrounded by city walls, but unfortunately the Swedish Gate is the only gate still standing. Yeah, its purpose was once to give access to the barracks located right outside the city walls. History says that one day one soldier fell in love with a young civilian and they used to meet right by the gate. Obviously they were caught, as any other forbidden romance, and the girl was trapped inside one of its walls. Yeah, and rumor has it that if you want to know if you found your true love, you both should go through the gate at midnight. If you hear a feminine voice saying, I still love him, then <laughs> that's the one. Obviously we didn't do this because we were too afraid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just give it a go. Third and the last hidden story about Riga is the unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, exactly, is the one about the Monument of Freedom, which, as the name suggests, intends to pay tribute to the country's independence and freedom, and it resembles a woman holding three stars. Yeah, Latvia's independence, declared in 1921, fell under Russian control again in 1940, which lasted until 1991, which was yesterday. Literally yesterday, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and. During these times, Russians always wanted, always thought of destroying this monument of liberty, but it would, it would have caused a lot of public unrest, so it never happened. But the monument couldn't really go unnoticed by new visitors and tourists, so tour guides would always be instructed to distract them, to make sure people wouldn't notice the monument. And for them to achieve this, Russians always instructed tour guides to tell people to look at the opera house, which is like opposite to the, the, to the yeah. yeah. In the and in the worst case scenario, if they were not successful doing that, they would say that the woman holding the three stars would be Mother Russia holding the three Baltic countries, Estonia, Lithuania and Latvia. Which is quite a good idea, but, but ridiculous, not but really. yeah. <laughs> And we can call it a video. That's it. It was a very quick one, but we really, really wanted to share all of this information with you. Absolutely, so. especially because this information we found out in our walking tour and with a guide, and you cannot find this information anywhere else. So I think it's quite valuable to share these, these facts with you and really interesting about the city. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, you press the like button, you press the bell, yeah. you share it with your friends, share it with your family. <laughs> Happy 2023. Absolutely. And, and don't miss what we have coming next about Estonia. True. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> See you. See you later.